We send everyone ADR here. Today we are doing two drafts and we're still playing them, but we are going to do two drafts. Now, I think for the formation, I'm actually going to go with the 3 4 2 1. Not the best, but I would like also like to get quite a high rated draft. Informs are now in draft and we can start off with 87 rated Bremer. I think that's the play. He is, um, can we see which week he was? I don't think we can, but just to show you, he's got insane play styles. Would have been nice to have anticipate, but he's got aerial, he's got bruiser, he's got intercept and block, as well as power header and long pass. Great pace, great strength, great jumping. Pretty A pretty solid centre back to start off with. Now, the defence is really important, especially the way I play, because uh, we've been struggling defensively. And look at that. We get 89 rated Lucio. Perfect for Bremer's chemistry. Gets that Brazilian link, gets the Serie A link. Would be great to see some icons in this draft as well. I've had Engine before, but she is the best out of the selection of players we're given. Maybe Buchanan might be a bit better. She is a little bit slower. But she's got way better play styles. So I'm actually going to take Buchanan. Should have checked how tall she is though. 5'7". Okay. Ideally we'll get a new centre back on the bench anyway. Our left mid is going to be Raheem Sterling. It's a shame he doesn't play for Chelsea anymore. Otherwise that would have been a good chemistry link. The Chelsea chem link. Now we get Gavi. We could go for Rodrigo de Paul. Or even Palacios, to be fair. I think I'm going to do it based on the play styles. Okay, so Palacios has a couple, not great ones. The pool has a couple as well. Tiki Taka Plus is what I'm, or Tiki Taka is what I'm thinking about in taking Gavi. But ultimately, we're going to go for Rodrigo the pool, probably the the most well-rounded out of the three. Mm. And we also get Guti, who's definitely going to help with chemistry. Maybe if we... Ooh, Vettinia is a good card as well. But... I mean, Guti's just a bit more attacking, isn't he? Whereas Vettinia... It's quite attacking as well, to be fair. Let's go with Guti. Gets good chemistry, so that's fine. Right mid is gonna be either Julie or Olise. Now, let's see what... Ooh, he's... They've given him some good play styles. Doesn't have a play style plus though. Julie has really good play styles as well. I think we just go with Julie here. Gets good chemistry. Goes into the team. Now it's Cam, not centre forward. We always have to remember that. Not a great selection of players. I think I'm just going to go with Zobojlai for the Premier League Cam. Second Cam, however, is... Ooh, Kavarat Skelia. Now, Schneider is amazing. And he can play like three different positions, which is great. Francis Goli is quite good as well. But it's Kavara Skelia. He can play left mid, right? Yeah, he can play left mid. Probably where we would end up playing him. He's got finesse shot, incisive, technical flair, trickstar and Traveller. Yeah, we're getting some good choices. I, I'm tempted to just go with Schneider though. Because he can play centre mid and I'll probably... Oh, his defending's bad though, isn't it? I think I'm going to go with Schneider. Hopefully we get a good attacker. Oh, Openda. Openda is amazing in this game. He's just so quick. And Boniface, probably as good as well. We're getting a lot of the informs, but I am going to go with Openda. We, it doesn't get chemistry. We'll have to sort that out later. In goal, it, well, we could take Galashi for the for the chemistry. That might be the play, you know, because he does get the Hungarian link with Sobojlai as well. Radetzky is here, but doesn't get any chem. I think, yeah, we'll go with Galashi. And we're 85 rated with 20 chem. Hopefully, we can do a bit better for chemistry. We get Onana. We get Alex Romero. I think we'll just go with highest. Oh, do we take Karnes Karneseki for the chemistry? I'll probably take him just for the the potential chemistry. It'd be great to get a draft onto 33 chem. Now we get Reese James. Not gonna play. 
I think Alfonso Davies is the easy option here. Plus five to the chemistry as well, playing him. Gets the Canadian link, which is nice. So we're not doing too bad. We'll take Mojica there. Nothing really doing here either. We'll take Rossi. Okay, we get um, either Loftus Cheek or Alejandro Garnacho. Now, being a United fan, I do want to take Garnacho, but I think Loftus Cheek is the better player. Provides a bit more balance to our midfield. Because what I'm thinking, if the draft loads, is that we will put Loftus Cheek in at centre mid and move Guti up to Cam. And guys, while the draft is loading, be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We're still trying to get to 10k subscribers. So please help us out and let me sort out this draft. And we're back. We'll take Loftus Cheek. What we said we were going to do is this. I think the team has a little bit more balance. We still do need maybe a centre mid. But I like the look of the team at the moment. We get Katarino, Katarina Macario, who's going to get great chemistry with Buchanan. And is probably the best player there, so we won't think about it too much. We will take her. I will probably take out Rodrigo de Paul. And that is how the team is looking. I might even play Schneider in. I know his defense isn't better, but he is higher rated. So we'll do that for now. Next pick is going to be John's Dottir. Probably not going to play. We're onto our reserves already. It felt quick. We get not the greatest of players. We'll take Jordi Alba. Wouldn't mind a new center back. That being said, we could take Charles here. Really good for chemistry. Gonna gonna actually complete quite a few people's chem if we take her. We also get Mariona. Who do we have another Arsenal player? We do. We have Sterling. She can play striker. We've already got a pender to play striker. We've already got Alfonso Davies. So I am gonna take Charles. Even though she's a little lower rated, I think it will do the chemistry. A world of good yeah plus three to the chemistry we're up to 29 so it's katarina off chem or penda off chem gulachi and alfonso davies three picks left let's see what we can do we get rafinha rafinha is very good in the game oh we also get anton i think i would prefer just a a big center back right or do we go for Finja for right mid? Even though he's probably not going to get chemistry. Actually, he'll he'll get decent chemistry. The Brazil link and then the La Liga link should get him decent chemistry. Alternatively, Anton, only 69 pace, but he's 6'2", as opposed to 5'7". I think it's going to be Anton, just because our defense has been so bad recently. And I will put Julie back in the team. We lose Cam, but we'll also play Zoboshlai maybe. Plus two doing that. Two picks left. Let's see who we get. Get Mateus Cunha there. He's got Cam. I think if we play him in at Cam, I thought we might gain a bit of chemistry. We actually don't. We end up losing Cam. So we'll put that back. And then our last pick is going to be... Uh, we'll take Tillman. So, interesting draft. We kind of went back and forth a bit. Let's see how the team performs. Okay, so into game number one. He's got Pickford. Got a Bede Pele. Lewa and Verts. The ones to watch out for. Decent midfield as well. For em Emery Chan and Stanway. Let's see how we do. All over the top to a Penda. That's a penalty, surely. We win the pen. Can we dispatch of it? Wesley Schneider. I'm going to stay down the middle. Yeah, lovely stuff. We hold our nerve. 1 0. The second goal would be really important. Openda, lovely. It is 2 0. Openda has scored it. Surely that takes us into the next round. He's making a sub. 
Oh, and he scored against the run of play. That is really poor for myself. The defending, honestly, my defending has been so bad. Let's let's just secure this win and then we'll we'll get into the next game. Guti's got a pender if he sees him. The pender's through. Tries the dink. And it is 3-1. You'll love to see it. We are through to the next round. About time. <laughs> so into game number two. It didn't show his team, so here it is. You can have a look. He's got an icon in Ashley Cole. Seems to be the only icon I've seen so far, but maybe there's more. I don't know. Schneider into a pender. Oh, and it's 1 0. Schneider finds Alfonso Davies out wide. He's got a pender in the middle. Goes for the shot. Oh, it's so powerful. Edison did not stand a chance. We are 2 0 up. Oh, pender is amazing. Alfonso Davies is cooking down that left-hand side. Pender's managed to get through again. Last chance before the break. He's used his pace. Ooh, Rossio with a clinical challenge. Surely stopping it from being 3-0. Oh, Pender's free though. Oh, not quite enough. Or oh, Pender. That's his hat-trick, right? Oh, Pender is on fire right now. I wouldn't mind getting that card in my actual team. Finds Openda running through again. And he makes it four. Surely he's quitting. He is. He's out of there. Openda running down the middle is a cheat code with Guti and Schneider with incisive pass. It's just ridiculous. So into game number three. Let's see if we can see the team this time. We can. He's got Tim Howard. Van der Ven in the defence, Di Natale and Vlaovic. Pender with the overhead kick. You love to see it. This guy is so overpowered. 1-0, just like that. Well overdue to be honest. He's had so many chances. Well, Pender is just getting whatever he wants at the moment. Goes near post and it is 2-0 just before half time. Oh, this guy is a cheat code. Chips it over the top to Appender again. And Appender makes it free. Surely he's quitting at this point. Those free balls over the top to Appender are so overpowered. Lovely. We are into the final, boys. It's only taken however many drafts. I think this is our fifth draft. But here we are. Four wins. Let's hopefully win our first draft. Okay, guys. Here goes. We're into the final First final, long overdue. Let's see who we are up against. We've got Leno in goal, Risa, Maicon, Upamakano, Inform Benzema, and Fernando Morientes with Rodrigo and Adeyemi on the wings. This is going to be a complicated game. Let's see how we do. Morientes with the speed boost and goes near post, and it's 1 0. I don't think we've touched the ball properly yet. And we're already down 1 0. Appenda managed to get through. Oh, and he's scored. This guy is incredible. 1 1, just like that. We are going to make the change. We're going to put Schneider in at Cam again. And we're also going to play Rodrigo de Paul. We're doing it a bit earlier this time. This guy is very good. Hopefully, we can go on and get the win. Guti wins it back, gets it to Appenda. Appenda with the fake shot and then near post. It is 2-1. This guy, how, how many goals has he scored? Someone, if you've made it this far in the video, let me know how many goals. Comment the amount of goals Appenda has scored in this video. And I will like and leave a heart on that message, on that comment even. We can manage to win the draft. I want to control Lucio here. He pulls in exactly the right place. Oh, that's a great turn, isn't it? 2-2. Two, two. You know what? The um the player switching is rubbish. I wanted to switch to Lucio so much earlier on and he just didn't want to, to switch to him. Schneider plays it over the top to Appenda. Gets taken out, but I guess Leno did get the ball first, so can't complain too much about that. He's finding a lot of gaps in behind. Oh, it's gone straight back to him. 3-2, just like that. Just like that, we've given the ball away and it's 
You hate to see it. We get one goal back. It's 5 3, 12 minutes left. We can now make the sub as well. Let's see how it goes. The rewards it's going to be a jumbo premium gold pack and a premium gold players pack. Now, it's the start of the game, so that should actually be worth quite a bit. No walkout. Right wing, Spanish, Laminia Mar. Laminia Mar. Show me Barcelona. Oh, yes. We have just packed the man himself. Lamin. 81 rated. Surely he's either extinct or just goes for crazy amounts, right? Like, has to. What? He's only... He's only like 4k. And then for the premium gold players pack. No walkout. Spanish goalkeeper from Liga F. Nice. Surely there's going to be at least one good player. Okay, we'll see if these players sell. And as you can see at the top right, we've made some coins. We are now on 37k after starting this draft. We're taking the 5-2-1-2 formation. And I think the five back formation, it is with left backs and right backs. So no left wing backs aren't in the game anymore. I think we'll start off with, although I would like to take Neymar. We'll start off at the back with a very solid defender in Ledley King. And we're going to build up that way. We're going to sort our defense. Defense wins championships. We'll take Itakura here. Probably not the best. Probably will need a new centre-back. Hopefully we can get another big centre-back. At least one. Now, Dos... Oh, Akanji is amazing in the game, by the way. I did want to check how... Oh, 5-7. Yeah, no chance. All right. Akanji's great. So, Akanji and Ledley King. Great start to the defence. A solid right-back wouldn't be a, wouldn't go amiss. Now, Traore on a shadow is not bad. Antonio Silva does look considerably better, though. And, you know, Real Madrid. We'll probably get a few Real Madrid players. So we'll take her. Left back, Catley maybe? I mean, we don't have any Arsenal players. She doesn't get chem. And Australian is a bit difficult, but she does have 85 pace. What play styles does she have? They're all attacking play styles. Okay, that's not the best. Gaia, on the other hand, he does have anticipate and technical. Decent pace as well. Boatin, yeah, not really defensive. I think, I think Gaia is the play. And in goal, we get a decent keeper. Gonna be Ariola, I think. 81 rated, gets Prem Chem. Happy with that. Centre mid number one is, ooh, Danny Ceballos looks like the option. Araya is here, but she's not the best. Kondogbi is there, not bad, but isn't going to get any chemistry. What nation is that? I'm not even too sure. Central African Republic. Cool. Uh, we'll take Danny Ceballos. Good for the chem. Gets the Real Madrid link. Gets the Spanish link with Gaia. We now get a selection of heroes for our cam slot. Now, Rosicki is great for Premier League chemistry. Most of Mostavoy wouldn't be bad either. I think we're just going to go... Ooh, you know what? I think we will go for Rosicki. Can play centre mid as well. Dirk Kout doesn't have a play style plus, which is... Other than that, he does look like a good card. Lipmanen doesn't look bad either, but we are we are going to go for Zitsky here. Helps out the Prem Chem. Can we get a big centre mid is the question. And no is the answer. We get someone that used to play in the Prem in Genduzi, and he does look like the best player out of a bad bunch. So we will take him. Up front, we are going to need some good strikers. And oof, we get Joshua Xerxes. Or a Villa. Mm, it's difficult, isn't it? I mean, Xerxes gets a lot better chemistry. You know what? Let's go with chemistry. Hopefully, we're going to get some big players on the bench. Our second striker, we get a few informs. However, that Osserman awesome is what has caught my eye. 89 pace, 84 shooting. He's got poacher plus plus, which is really nice. Power header, chip shot, not the best. Rapid and acrobatic is good though. Other than that, we've got Poado. 88 pace, 81 shooting, it's all right. Would get would get quite good chemistry. What's his play styles looking like? Decent play styles. He's just he's more of a winger, isn't he? Yeah, he does look more like a winger. Cool. We're gonna go with Osserman. 
And that completes the starting lineup. We've only got 18 chemistry. A Premier League centre back will definitely help that out. We also get Pickford here, which I guess is an upgrade on Ariolo, so we might as well just take him. We could also take Gaza, but I'm going to go with Pickford. We actually lose one chemistry taking him, loses the French link on Genduzi. We don't really want anyway, so I'm not too bothered. Lucas Vasquez. Can Antonio Silva play? No, she can't play another position. I'm just going to go with Vasquez here. I think I'll start him as well. For the extra chemistry gets the perfect link with Danny Ceballos. And okay, now we get an 88 rated Vincent Company. Now Kyle Walker and Arojo would be amazing. But we're obviously going with the hero. 88 rated Vincent Company plus 5 to the chemistry. It's literally the centre back we needed. Now for a new centre mid would be great. We get Leon Goretzka. Doesn't really fit for chemistry. But for rating. And just general play he's really good. So we'll go with Goretzka. I'm going to play him instead of Gunduzi. Neither of them get chemistry anyway. Next pick is going to be a hero or Pedri. Pedri does look good. Let's see. Williams on a shadow. Could be the play. How? She's 5-5. Five, five. Pings pass, long ball pass, power shot, dead ball and flare plus. Probably don't want her. Hamsik looks really good. So does Rui Costa. But if we were to take Rui Costa, I think we have to play Rosicki in that centre mid. And I don't love that. So I'm going to take Hamsik here. Does have centre mid. Going to play him over Goretzka for plus three to the chem. So we're nearly at full chem. It's the striker. Osman isn't getting any chemistry. We'll take Tillman here. I don't think anyone's really going to help or play. Next pick is going to be... Oh, we get a guard Nacho. But you know what? This Darwin Nunez card is very good. He's on a shadow. So his pace is going to be better. Probably needed to improve his shooting more than anything. But... I'm not complaining. Takes us up to 32 chemistry. So it's just Gaia off chem right now. Osman can obviously come off the bench for Xerxes probably. So we're building a good team. It's a solid team. Javi Simmons is what stands out. And you know what? We'll take him. If we now get like a Frimpong or something like that, then we will change the team around a little bit. But I have a feeling that the good picks might have all gone. Three picks left, so we will see. Uh, Mariona here. She has tick, Tiki Taka. It is called Tiki Taka, isn't it? Tiki Taka Plus, yep. Pepe, not bad as well. Actually quite good. 87 pace, 80, 85 dribbling. Aydara's here. We're not going to play him. Luca Dean. To complete our chemistry. Actually, who wouldn't complete our chemistry? We'd be... Missing one chem still. Yeah, I'm gonna go with uh, I'm gonna go with Pepe. Only two picks left. See who we get. We get Raheem Sterling. Doesn't fit the formation. Oh, Fran Garcia though completes our chemistry. That's us on full chem, isn't it? Yeah, I don't mind that. Nice. So we're at full chem. We are 84 rated, 83 rated. Sorry. Like a Jude Bellingham here would be perfect. We don't get Jude, but we do get Zhao Felix. And you know what? He's just a better striker, in my opinion. So I think we take him. We play him up front instead of Xerxes. And I would say that is a successful draft. And we do go up to 84 rated. So it's a 117, I think. Manager doesn't really matter. Oh, maybe it does. I should have checked which tactics they have, but either way, that's the end screen. Let's have a look at our tactics and get into game number one. Find Jao Felix out wide. Oh, that's a pen. Now, hopefully we can just bury this penalty. And it looks like we have 1-0. Vasquez does well. He's got Rosicki with him. Darwin's making the run. He's thrown goal. Darwin Nunez makes it two. And that's the game. He's quitting. He puts the ball over the top to Gaia. Brings it back to Rizitski. 
who then loses it. Darwin, I think, is offside. And that's going to do it, guys. I can't believe we've just lost that game. I actually, I, I'm, I don't enjoy gameplay. I don't. Let me know what you guys think about gameplay. Um, obviously, draft's not in a great place in terms of higher rated players. We might try a higher rated draft because we keep losing. But one thing that has been good, which I realised we didn't have the Harry Kane pack. I got Harry Kane in the video that ended up getting deleted. So hopefully we can get another walkout. It's a gold pack, a silver players pack and a premium gold pack. Let's start with the silver players pack. Probably not going to be much in there. Still should have some sellable players. So all of those can go. Then we will finish off on the premium gold pack. There's literally nothing in that gold pack. No rare gold player, no nothing. And for the last pack today, premium gold pack, we get Jorginho. <laughs> Great. See if we got any other players worthwhile. It doesn't look like it. Guys, if you've enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.